This is shuttle launch control. D minus three hours in holding. The astronauts, of course, are in the orange pressure suits. The closeout crew are in the white coveralls, and the uh, closeout crew will be assisting the astronauts with their helmets and other equipment as they enter the orbit. There I am on TV. Uh, How about that? This is an incredibly experienced and dedicated team that gets the people on the orbiter, and Travis is in charge of the whole thing. And not only is he in charge of this one, but he's in charge of the whole closeout crew. The firing chain is armed. You know the day the last shuttle launched, it cleared the stack. I knew my life as I knew it was over, and that's been the fact ever since. I live in a little camping trailer now. Used to have a beautiful house on the river. Gorgeous place, beautiful wife. Lost it all. I'm on social security. I don't have anything. I don't want anything. But yeah, I'm in the woods. It's where I want to be. You know, I put people in spaceships. There's not a lot of opportunity for jobs that are asking for that kind of talent. <laughs> For a long time, I didn't even tell people what I did because I didn't want people to think I was bragging. But damn, what a cool job. We were not special. There was thousands of people that did thousands of things. We just had the last hands-on job. You had people's lives in your hands. You had this vehicle that was just awesome. We put our hearts and souls into it, you know? And yes, it was a job. We made money. But damn, you know, that was an important thing. These are real people. Everybody's got their own story. Dear God, we thank you for this opportunity again, for this beautiful day to be with you and to serve you. And we just pray by your Holy Spirit that you will lead and guide us, direct our thoughts, direct our steps, and direct our words. We pray for unity, we pray for peace, and we pray for your love. In your name we ask it. Amen. Amen. Okay, good. That's good. When I look back over my life, I um, think I've had a good life, enjoyed many things, and the shuttle program was a very exciting part of my overall career because there's really nothing like it. Seeing it take off and seeing it return, it, it makes you proud. I do think NASA uh, did put forth an effort uh, to provide access to equality in terms of employment to African Americans. Many of the school children kind of grew up with the shuttle program, and some of those children, African American in particular, being able to see black astronauts, it broadened their horizon into what's possible. But I don't think they've gone uh, nearly far enough and I think there's much more to be done. At work, there was discrimination. Uh, we saw things happening there. When I was appointed the facility manager of the operations and checkout building, I can remember, because I had a private office then, people would stick their head in the door. I would be sitting behind the desk, and they would ask, where's the facility manager? They totally, it didn't occur to them that you might be that person. Since so what you do, uh, I'm gonna be the best one and I'm gonna make sure that they know I am. There was discrimination, uh, we saw things happening there, but we felt that we could not fail, we, we could not leave because this was paving the way for some others. And if we didn't stick it out and do good, the door would might close to others. There's more to this than just you. We have a myriad of issues that need addressing today, but I think national programs can help uh, unite us as a nation and as a people. <laughs>